about seven years ago, I purchased a home that had Sam Lou furniture in it, and I don't think that the sellers knew what they had. So they were talking about the possibility of selling the home with the furniture, and I wasn't about to tell them that it was Sam Maloof's furniture, but they very wisely decided to get the furniture appraised. So here comes Sam Maloof. <laughs> and I knew that there was no way I was going to be able to purchase the furniture or get the furniture, because just the dining room table and the chairs alone were about $120,000. is this chair? So... Um, and there were about, I'd say, 20 to 25 pieces in the home. But that's okay because I got to meet Sam, and we had a long conversation outside outside up on the street. And I'd say we stood by his car for about an hour and just talked. So even though I didn't get Sam Maloof's furniture, I got to know him, and it was just a, a blessing. He's a beautiful, beautiful man. He's an amazing example to me. You know, I don't look at Sam as an elderly man. He's got this youthful spirit and drive, and uh, he's so filled with life that he just exudes that, you know. And at a time where I've been kind of down, and he hears this amazing artist that has, you know, lost his wife, and he's, he's 90 years old, and he's a kid, you know. So he's, he gives everybody a lot of hope that it's really not your age, it's your spirit and your joy of life and your faith and your, your gifts. And he's, he's got all that. He really is amazing. I like the simplicity of his furniture. So the table and chair set and some of his chairs were a little more contemporary, say, than maybe his rocking chairs, and I love those. His rocking chairs are just beautiful pieces of art, but the furniture that was in that home, just the home was contemporary and the furniture just fit with it beautifully. Very sensuous looking chair. I think that Sam is a sensuous person. You can't help but, you know, look at his furniture and, and feel that it just comes out as he is, you know, sensual in every way. I think if I had one prayer, it would be, besides wisdom, which you definitely have, Sam, it would be that I would be at 90 as full of life as you are. So I would hope to be like Sam when I'm 90. <laughs>